Hey friends, um, I want to show you um, all the equipment that I'm currently using for my photography so you can understand that it's cheap as shit and you don't need to buy into all this bullshit that the marketing's talking about, okay? Um, so the camera I'm using right now is the Nikon D4, D4. In 2012, this was the best camera that the Nikon brand made. Now because it's 10 years later, you can now get this and I got this one for 700 bucks second hand. And literally, there has not been a better camera that's come out since. So why pay more? All the other fancy features are just fancy features. They're not necessarily gonna help you take a good shot. This helps me take every single shot that I want, okay? It doesn't have a quadrillion megapixels because I don't need a quadrillion megapixels because good photos are not about a quadrillion megapixels, okay? So stop sucking the dick. Now on this camera, you might notice this is, this is a Nikon 50 millimeter. 1.8, the cheapest lens that Nikon makes, the cheapest. It's like $60 or something like that. And it's fine, you can't tell the difference between anyone, any other lens that costs 500, 1000, blah, blah, blah. So why bother spending the money? Now, in uh, addition to this 50 millimeter lens, the only other lens I use is this one. This is an 85 millimeter. This one's a little more expensive. This one's about $300. And it's perfect, it's super sharp, it's just got everything you need. For portraits, 85 millimeter and the 50 millimeter is everything you'll ever need. I never need to go wider, I never need to go more zoomed in, so it's perfect. And they're, they're just two little lenses, they're lightweight, you put them in a bag and blah blah blah. Now if I want to do um, flash, you know, to get that unique epic flash look, then here's what I use. I got, um, I tried lots of, lots of little cheap Chinese flashes and all this kind of stuff. I eventually upgraded to something a little better, which is this Godox AD200, which is basically, while remaining very small and compact and very tough, it has the power of about three normal flashes. So it's more powerful than that. It's battery operated and I never need to use it at full power. So I don't even know how bright it can go, but it can go pretty damn bright, okay? Then I just use this little Godox trigger. This goes on top of my camera and there's different um, versions of it depending on what brand of camera you're using. I've got the Nikon version. This is about $60 to get that. Oh, by the way, so this one is about $300, okay? Or you can get a second hand cheaper. Good, um, I use a cleaning cloth, super expensive, $1,000 cleaning cloth. No, it's like $1, so I can wipe my snot off the thing. Uh, a lens hood for the lens if I'm in the sunshine. It's like a sun visor in your car. Good, then the only other thing I use, this is a, a light stand, it's very compact. The company is K&F Concept. I don't know if it's a Chinese company, it probably is, but I like it. I like Kung Pao Chicken, what's wrong with it? And then um, my light modifier to get the soft light is coming from this thing, all right? It's a 60 centimeter Octobox, okay? You put the flash in the back of that, and then um, what comes out the other end is beautiful soft light, and that cost an amazing hundred dollars, okay? Um, every brand, every popular brand, will sell this exact same thing and charge about a thousand dollars for it when it does nothing different. Nothing different, okay? So brand names add the price onto things when the material and everything else is basically the same, okay? This is plastic, I'll give it that, and um, you know, maybe it'll break at some point. Who, who cares? I can get 10 Kung Pao chickens for the price of one. Westcott, whatever these big brands are. I never use them because I don't need to. Okay, so save your money, get freaking educated, and have fun. Please subscribe and enable the bell so you don't miss any of our new shows. Like the video and please share it and leave your comments. I love hearing from you. And remember to get out and capture your own images of life.